I got a lot better, munching away at eggy wigs and long ticks of toast and lovely steaky wigs. And then one day, they said I was going to have a very special visitor. Just wait outside for a moment, will you, officer? Yes, sir. I'm afraid my change of schedule has rather thrown you. I seem to have arrived with the patients from the middle of supper. Oh, that's quite all right, Minister. No trouble at all. Good evening, my boy. Hi, hi, hi there, my little droogies. Well, how are you getting on today, young man? Great, sir. Just great. Can I do anything more for you, Minister? I don't think so, Sir Leslie. Thank you very much. Then I leave you to it. Nurse? Well, you seem to have a whole ward to yourself, my boy. Yes, sir. And a very lonely place it is too, sir. When I wake up in the middle of the night with me pain. Yes. Well, anyway, good to see you on the mend. I've kept in constant touch with the hospital, of course. And now I've come down to see you personally, to see how you're getting along. I've suffered the tortures of the damned, sir. Tortures of the damned. Uh, yes, I can appreciate that you have had an extremely dis... Oh, look. Let me help you with that, shall I? Thank you, sir. Thank you. I can tell you with all sincerity that I and the government of which I'm a member are deeply sorry about this, my boy. Deeply sorry. We tried to help you. We followed recommendations which were made to us that turned out to be wrong. An inquiry will place the responsibility where it belongs. We want you to regard us as friends. We put you right. You're getting the best of treatment. We never wished you harm, but there are some who did, and do, and I think you know who those are. There are certain people who wanted to use you for political ends. They would have been glad to have you dead, for they thought they could then blame it all on the government. There is also a certain man, a writer of subversive literature, who has been howling for your blood. He's been mad with desire to stick a knife into you. But you're safe from him now. We put him away. He found out that you had done wrong to him. At least he believed you had done wrong. He formed this idea in his head that you had been responsible for the death of someone near and dear to him. He was a menace. We put him away for his own protection and also for yours. Where is he now, sir? We put him away where he can do you no harm. You see, we are looking after your interests. We are interested in you. And when you leave here, you will have no worries. We shall see to everything. A good job on a good salary. What job and how much? You must have an interesting job at a salary which you would regard as adequate. Not only for the job that you're going to do, and in compensation for what you believe you have suffered, but also because you are helping us. Helping you, sir. We always help our friends, don't we? It is no secret that this government has lost a lot of popularity because of you, my boy. There are some who think that at the next election we shall be out the press has chosen to take a very unfavorable view of what we tried to do. But public opinion has a way of changing. And you, Alex, if I may call you Alex. Certainly, sir. What do they call you at home? <clears throat> My name is Frederick. As I was saying, Alex, you can be instrumental in changing the public's verdict. Do you understand, Alex? Do I make myself clear? As an unmudded lake, Fred. As clear as an azure sky of deepest summer. You can rely on me, Fred. Good. Good boy. Oh, yes, I understand you're fond of music. I have arranged a little surprise for you. Surprise? One that I hope that you will like. As a, um... How shall we put it? As a symbol of our new understanding. An understanding between two friends. 